These are the top five things I dislike about Alden. It's a weird video, I get it. I got these Ravello Shell Cordovan V-tip boots on the very last. These are Alden, obviously from brick and mortar in Seattle. I've been wearing them a lot recently. The more that I've been wearing them, the nuances of Alden that kind of drove me crazy in the past are starting to rear their head again. I thought I'd share really what it is, not from an aesthetic, from a business, but from a day-to-day -day practical perspective, what it is that drives me crazy most. Let's start with number five. This is materials. Shell Cordovan, especially Shell Cordovan from the Horween Tannery, is my favorite leather. I'm not gonna complain about that. The part about Alden materials that does drive me a little crazy is some of the most functional pieces, such as the heel stack, not being real leather throughout that entire heel stack. Now, how does this impact your day-to-day? -day? Sometimes you get a little squeak. Sometimes you get a little separation in the heel stack. None of that's happening just yet, but the more that I wear these, the more that I remember it's happened in the past, and those are things that just irk me about the shoes you know, a couple months old, I've worn it less than 10 times, and you kind of get this persisting squeak in the heel. I hope that's not gonna happen with these, but we'll wait and see. Number four, colors. How does this impact the day-to-day? -day? Maybe it doesn't, maybe it does. The main reason that it's going to is the number of Alden that I have, or the number of Alden that you have. The only colors of Shell Cordovan that Alden is regularly offering is color eight, and black. Now, I don't know the real reason why they limit their shell cordovan colors the way they do. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is how I feel about it, for this video at least. And how I feel about it is it just seems meaningless in this day and age. There are so many shoemakers out there that are regularly offering the full gamut of colors that Horween tans and shell cordovan. It just seems like such a better and a much easier experience for both Alden and their customers if they just left it up to the retailers that got these limited releases. Those real retailers could then handle it however they want. If a customer doesn't like how one retailer handles it, you just don't purchase anything from that retailer. If you like how another retailer does it, you support that one more. Whereas the way that they do it now, everyone knows that it's being done, but only the retailers know how or why it's done that way and very few actually let on what that process is. It just seems like unnecessary layers of complexity and lack of transparency for the sake of lack of transparency and complexity. Doesn't make sense. Number three, this is the acrylic. I made a video that I posted last week or the week before about removing the acrylic finish that Alden plasters all over their shell cordovan. And uh, the only reason this is number three is because I've removed the acrylic from over 20 pairs of Alden shell cordovan. So it's like nothing when I have to do it. And I don't really even think twice about having to do it. It's just part of that first care routine for a pair of Alden shell cordovan. Again, their attempt at simplicity resulting in more complexity. Number two, patterns. Let me get these boots off and I'll explain. So as we look at this pattern, you can tell the right boot is not really aligned. And I would say it's only slightly, but it's, it's not aligned. Left boot, it's aligned. This is a consistent theme. Almost every cap toe that I had from Alden, almost every split toe, almost every boot that I've seen or had from Alden, it's always misaligned. It's not the fit, it's not the person's foot that makes it look that way, it's just not aligned. Again, I don't know why this always happens, I don't know why there's always a cap toe, one that's straight and one that goes like this, I don't know. It just seems like <laughs> something that repeats itself way too often. They should fix their patterns, make these things even. If they can consistently make them uneven, they can consistently make them even. Number one, the, uh, without a doubt, the most painful pain point, the most annoying pain point about Alden for me is the tongue. No matter what, no matter how many pairs, the tongue never lays perfectly 
against your foot. Every other shoe boot maker that I've had, they have some type of system designed in the pattern, in the boot, to keep the tongue where it's supposed to be. Doesn't mean it's always gonna stay there, but they make an attempt to keep the tongue where it's supposed to be. Alden, uh-uh. And unless you uh, consciously make an effort to break them in with the tongue in the right place, you're gonna end up with a boot that looks like this, with the tongue going off to the side and your ankle blasting away at the laces. Irks me beyond belief. We don't want the tongue turning inward and going on the inside of the ankle. We don't want the tongue flopping outward, exposing your ankle to the laces, but we're not really gonna do anything like 95% of the shoe and boot makers out there to prevent that from happening. We're just gonna leave it and hope you do something about it because we sure as hell won't. It pains me a little to admit I am really enjoying these boots. I'm not even thinking about it much. I'm just putting them on and wearing it, really enjoying them because of that. And uh, it's probably because that's how it should be. If you buy them, wear them, enjoy them, don't think too much about it. It'll prevent you from enjoying them. Thanks for watching. See you soon.